Hi everyone! So I'm finally making another video for you guys and the topic of this video will be microdermals. Now on the 23rd of February I finally got two microdermals. I've been wanting them for a very very long time however the placement is different where I initially want, wanted them. And uh, if you guys don't know what microdermals are, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you mine and then I'm gonna show you the piercing and the tool and everything and then get into my experience. So, I got them done right under my collarbones. Those are the two little gems that appear to be glued to my skin. Um, if you look, even if actually, if you look up close as well, not just from afar, they honestly do look like they're just glued to your skin. However, there's a lot more metal in there than you'd expect if you haven't seen that jewelry. This is what the top part looks like. Uh, mine is similar to this, it's just a gem. Those are replaceable. You can do that at any time. But the post is the thing that stays in your body and you can't change that. Now this particular one has two hole, uh, sorry, three holes, but there are different variations. There are some that have two bigger holes, like this one. And the idea behind it is that the holes are meant uh, for the skin to grow through, so it stays in place, doesn't migrate, and nothing happens to it. Um, then the tool that we use is a biopsy punch. Looks like this. Now this is two millimeter one. However, if you are more experienced, I would suggest using 1.5 because if you're piercing a person whose skin is really, really stretchy, then the two millimeter one is going to make a hole that is a little bigger than a jewelry, which means it's easier for you to get the jewelry in and more pleasant for the client. However, it takes time for your body to sort of grow over um, the jewelry then. The, the hole is a little bigger, so the jewelry might move, migrate, or maybe even come out uh, because the client usually doesn't know what to do and uh, most likely the first night is um, the area is bandaged, so the client really doesn't see what's happening there anyway. But with 1.5 it's a little trickier, it needs a little more fiddling and it's a little more unpleasant for the client. I got mine, um, <laughs> I got mine done with 1.5, both of them, and it, it was it was pretty <laughs> pretty uncomfortable. So now that I've shown you what they look like, I'm going to be talking about my experience. As a piercer, um, one of the main reasons why I got microdermals is I wanted to try them out. I want to see, again, what the healing is, how they're made, what they feel like, do they migrate, do they move, you know, I, I just wanted to know firsthand. Um, I wanted to get the experience and then be able to tell my clients. Mm. I've seen and performed microdermals for some time now and I've seen a lot of them. I've seen them um, put on uh, a person's face, but most likely women put them between their boobs. And I don't think I've seen them actually being done under the collarbones, but generally no one really says anything or does anything and it's it almost looks like it's painless. Um, a little uncomfortable maybe, but painless. So, I don't know, I wasn't really scared. I, I just, you know, I was curious and I was like, come on, let's do it. And it was, it was pretty spontaneous actually. But oh my god. I have, I've talked about this in some of my videos when you guys have asked what, you, what, what is my most painful piercing. And I've always said my sternum, which was between my boobs, it's a surface piercing. Because my, th my skin is very, very thick. And uh, yeah, it was, it was really, really painful to do that. And now with the microdermals, they hurt so bad. It was, oh Christ. So the initial plan was to get like these, I got like 
as the middle ones but I wanted one here like closer and then one here like going diagonally so I would have three on each side um, I knew that during one session I would get only two on both sides or like one on both sides and uh, but after I got them done I, I was seriously doubting whether I will ever get my second and third microdermals um, because they honestly were so uncomfortable. So this one went, uh, this one was done first and it went pretty okay. She had to put the jewelry in twice because it didn't really sit right and that's that's the problem with microdermals when you do normal piercings usually the piercing will sit right because it's it's not a lot of fiddling and and you see the, where the needle comes out and everything. Everything's clear, you know, as a piercer, you, you know how to evaluate and you see everything and you know how to take the person's anatomy uh, into consideration while placing everything and so on and so forth. But now with the microdermal, you don't really see what's going on on the inside. So, <laughs> uh, she put the jewelry in on the first try and it was, it didn't. It was kind of like popping out a little bit, and and it didn't really sit right. So she was like, "Okay, let's do the second one, and then let's see." And this one went in perfectly. However, when she was doing, when you um, stab the person with the uh, biopsy punch, then you need to make the uh, little pockets. And when she was doing the upper pocket, I honestly thought that she was continuously hitting my collarbone, even though the area is. The distance between the collarbone and where my microdermal is, it's too long mm, because the biopsy punch, the, the part that's going in your body, it's, it's not that long. But it was, it was, I honestly, it was like, oh my god, stop it. I honestly, I told her, I'm like, stop hitting my collarbone because <laughs> it, it, it felt like scraping it. It was such a weird sensation. But yeah, this one uh, went in perfectly and then she was like, okay, what are we going to do? do? Do you want me to put the other one, the first one, in again, and I was like, okay, fine, just do it. So she took the jewelry out and she started putting it back in again, and oh my god, I was like, fuck, <laughs> it was honestly so painful. Uh, because if you guys have ever gotten piercings, then sometimes, you know, the actual needle going through your uh, whatever flesh, it's not that bad, but actually putting the jewelry in is when it starts to hurt and when it's like really uncomfortable. So imagine some somebody like, you know, somebody made a fresh hole in you, they put the jewelry in already, everything's fine. And then they're like, oh, no, I'm going to do it again. I'm going to put the jewelry in again. And then just fucking <laughs> kind of like trying to stab you and poke you and just push push it like really, really in. And and it's it's uh, it's pretty torturous I can I can honestly say but I don't want to scare you guys because I'm sure that there are people like I said there are so many people who don't feel a thing I don't know whether it's just the placement where I got it that is more painful or or something you know just with my body here maybe there are some nerves there I, I don't know but uh, yeah for me it was pretty darn painful so after I got the microdermals done we put bandages on them and it was such a weird sensation because the area between and around my microdermals it felt so sore and almost like infected or like I had done a killer uh, chest workout I couldn't really lift my arms I couldn't really do anything I was so tired and, and it was so 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 weird and for the next it, it lasted for about three days uh, and um, but I managed to do something um, it's, it's not like I was just sitting for the next three days, you, you can do stuff, but it's, it kind of makes you really, really careful and you do things very slowly. Um, but after that, I really haven't had any problems with them. So I got them done on the 23rd of February and it's uh, the 17th of March. So I've had them for some time now and I don't know, they're, they're pretty okay. Uh, they're by no means healed because there are still there's some redness around them and, and they're still a little sore when pushed down but other than that they're fine they haven't migrat migrated or popped up or whatever and, uh, and I haven't really been having any problems with them the only thing is with certain clothes um, like workout clothes, the workout bra or some tight 
blouses or uh, dresses, the color uh, kind of let me see, kind of starts here, so it kind of pushes, and I really have to watch out for that because when the blouse or dress or whatever is really tight and it sits right next to the microdermals on the outside and when I move something it kind of tears the microdermals so I, I need to either change my wardrobe a little bit or make some adjustments um, little clear bandages work as well or I, I haven't really figured out all the tricks uh, but uh, during my workouts, I either bandage them up or put tissue paper on them or something because the workout bra, you girls know that it's super tight most likely so it does kind of hurt them and I don't want that um, but if I do find some tricks on how not to hurt them with my clothes, I'll tell you and if you guys know any tricks, please leave them in the comments but again, that's just because of the placement. I would imagine if it was between my breasts, I wouldn't really have any problems with it. Um, yeah, so one thing, when we did them under the collarbones, when we, I was marking them, I wanted them like super high up. I wanted them, well, let's see, my collarbones are here. I wanted them kind of like here, starting from here, so it would be straight under my collarbone. But then the piercer said that, no, when I move my arms, the skin moves over the collarbone and it can start migrating and hurting and it can reject. So I listened to her and I was like, okay, fine, you're right. Um, let's do it lower. But now um, I've actually started seeing that when I do move my arms and do workouts and stuff, they do move onto the collarbone, but I feel nothing. It doesn't hurt, um, it doesn't scrape, I, I honestly don't feel anything. However, I do think it was a smart move doing them a little lower because if they move so much every day onto the collarbone, eventually something may happen, but at first I'm telling you if, if that's what you're worried about, then you know do it a little lower but if it does start popping onto the collarbone a few times you know at some point that's that's fine you won't feel anything so you don't have to be that afraid so that was pretty much my experience so far i don't know if i'm ever going to get more um because just wearing clothes is gonna get more difficult um i also don't know if I've been making update videos. If something does go wrong or uh, or I, I change them or if, if something happens, um, I will be making a video. But at the moment, this is all I could really think about. If you guys do have any questions, please leave them down below. And like I said, this experience was just with me, the pain levels and it, it was just, you know, my body. So if you guys are afraid that it's gonna hurt so bad and you really, really want the piercing, then it might not hurt for you. you. You don't really have to get so hyped up. But if you do, then that means there's a lot of adrenaline in your body and the more adrenaline you have in your body, the less you feel because it's nature's sort of pain killer and it's very natural. So, you know, <laughs> maybe you do want to get yourself hyped up. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll see you in my next video. Bye!